Exactly true. First things first, though, we've lost our trade winds. Winds are going to be very light from here on out. In fact, completely calm right now. Temperature at least very cool at 73 degrees. And outside of Big Island summits, which are currently under a wind advisory, we're going to have very light winds over the course of the next few days, even in through early next week. Also, heavy rain chances low for now, but that changes this weekend. Here's what's happening we have a storm front which is going to be moving across the islands. It's already kicked off the trade or kicked out the trade winds over the islands, but we do expect numerous showers by week's end and heavy rain into this weekend. Until then, we're also going to see some light showers. Most of the heavy rain tomorrow is going to be up to the north, but this area of moisture you see here, that's crossing Kauai on Thursday and into Thursday morning, eventually making its way to the rest of the state during the course of the weekend. And that's when we could see that potential heavy rain. We're not seeing much tonight, though. It's actually a quiet night tonight. We'll go island by island so that you could see just some light showers at best. There's some lingering showers offshore of Kauai, but it's mostly dry now. Same situation for Oahu. We don't expect any kind of uh, heavy rain or any kind of drenching tonight with these light winds. And that's usually what happens when you have light and variable winds. The showers move from the night to the afternoon. So that's when we could see the highest chance of rain tomorrow afternoon. One to two for the south shore, four to six for the north, and three to four out west, no more than two to four for the east shore. So essentially tomorrow, a gorgeous day with lots of sunshine. Maybe we might see some afternoon showers. That's the highest chance of rain during the heat of the afternoon. Then Thursday and Friday rolls around. Higher rainfall chances overall. I would say the key thing to know this weekend is that we won't have trade winds and we have the potential for thunderstorm activity as well as heavy rain in the mostly Saturday through Monday time frame and the most intense showers Sunday in through Monday. This is that cold front that I pointed out that's moving towards the state. So we'll see some wet weather from this. And of course, as the days progress, I'll fine tune the forecast. We'll have a better idea of, you know, what days could still potentially have the heaviest rain. I'll also keep you up to date on our website, khon2.com and using the KHON2 mobile app.